Hello guys, welcome to the show. Um, today I'll be teaching you guys how to test React components with just an NSI. If you don't know what Jest is, Jest is a JavaScript testing framework. As you can see over here, it was built by Facebook. Um, it is very popular among you know among you know the JavaScript community. Um, we've got Enzyme over here, which is built by Airbnb. It is used to test specifically um, React component. It's really really cool. And I'm going to use these two testing framework to test a simple application that I've I've built. Um, it's very simple, but believe me, if you're able to understand this. Um, you can use the same principles and procedures to test a very complex React application. As you can see, um, submit to do, I need to poo, right? So you can click on this and then, you know, it is on the screen. Um, I can add, um, I need uh, to sync, you know, uh, I need um, to, you know, to bath. If you want to follow along this tutorial, you can clone the GitHub repo. Um, the link in the description and you can follow along okay so as you can see i've got an app and inside of my components i've got inputs which is the input field which is just a form uh, with an input field and a button and then submit to do like you saw um on the web then i've got the to-do list which is what stores the you know the to-do list what you type in the field right so how am I testing this? All right, so I'm testing this with just an enzyme, as you saw. Um, I've got like a setup test.js inside of my setup um, test.js. I've got you know my setup, everything I need. Um, where am I getting this from? Well, if you want to know how to set up, I'll advise you to check the Airbnb website. The setup test.js, like the name suggests, setup, right? It runs before all the tests inside of my test directory runs. So this runs first before everything in here runs, all right? Then I've got um, a just config.js. Um, instead of my just config.js, um, I've set verbose to true. Then I've set um, setup files after env to point to the setup test.js. I'm telling just that, okay, when you start running, you know, my setup file is inside of the setup test.js, okay? Let's get straight into the testing bit. Um, cause that is what I would like to take you guys through. So I've already written the test, right? But I'm going to take you guys through how, um, everything works step by step. Okay. And I'm going to log stuff in the console, in the terminal, and you guys can see what is going on in the application. All right. So I've started up off by importing react from react as you usually do because I'm writing JSS. I've imported shallow from Enzyme. So shallow is an API given by Enzyme. Like it gives like a snapshot of what the component is, but it gives the shallow version of what the component is, right? So you've got a shallow and you've got a mount. And I'm importing input from um, component input. So, and I will put an S over here to ignore it, okay? First of all, I've got a describe, um, block with an input field so the input is that you can put whatever you want but i like to put that input which is the name of the component that um that i'm actually testing then i've created a javascript um, variable called wrapper i've got it before each which runs before each of these eight block right so i'm saying before you run this right before you you you, you run this you need to run this right so before you test this and test that and test that you need to you know run this first right so i've got a before which is a wrapper which is a shallow of the inputs okay now let's see what this wrapper looks like over here so i'll do console.log wrapper.debug okay um if you want to know where I'm getting this from, this debug from, if you look at the um, enzyme documentary, um, you can see shallow and it's got like a debug over here. You can go through later on. If I do console.log wrapper.debug and I run um, npm test, something is failing. Okay, because you know I've commented uh, most of the tests you have. If you want to run, if you want to run your test, right, you need to type in npm test. Um, that's how you actually run the test. So I do npm test like that. Okay. So what you can, you guys can see is that the wrapper, right? I'm console.log in 
um, the wrapper, the debug, and what I see is, you know, the form. If I go back in here, okay, this is basically what I see, right? The form with the class name, everything over here, that's what I see, okay? So, we can see that I've created a constant called input. I'm saying wrapper.find, saying wrapper, whatever you see over here, find, you know, something with a class called input fill, okay? So it finds something with a class called input fill, and as you can see, the input has got a class called input fill, yeah? And expect the input dot props dot value. So all these are props, all these attributes are properties, right, of the input fill, right? So I'm saying that the input fill dot props dot value, the value of this prop. So I'm I'm saying okay, look through all these props, right? Um, I don't care about anything else. What I care about is the value prop. Enzyme comes over here and sees this value prop. And it says, okay, I want the value prop. I'm testing that the value the value prop when it starts is undefined, which is actually what we see over here. Okay, so it passed. That is the reason why you can see the green tick over here. Okay, the next step is that um, it contains a button. So I'm checking that this form over here contains a button. How am I doing this? So I've got a, create a constant called button, and I'm saying that this button. Is this right it's a button as you guys can see this button doesn't have the class name button that you see over here this is because I'm using um, contain matching elements and um, contain matching element is an API um, of the uh, of the shallow API so it's a method on the shallow API or match everything that is similar to this but you don't have to give it like the whole prop the whole attributes that the the actual the actual um, node hats um, you just have to give it just a little bit so for enzyme to find it um, you don't have to give it anything okay so I'm saying okay go over here okay wrapper this is the wrapper contains matching element so it comes over here contains matching element button that is the button okay and then contains matching element retains a boolean. A boolean is a true or false in computer science, right? So contain matching element button. So it comes over here, then it finds a matching element called button. And then if it's true, it passes. Let's run this test. One skipped, two pass. So this passed, that passed as well. And that is the skipped um, test that we are going to test next, right? In this last one, we say, I'm saying that there is a test on the button. So this button, I'm testing, I'm, I just want to assert that the button has got a test called submit to do. And how am I doing that, okay? So um, wrapper, as we saw at the beginning, wrapper to find button. So the wrapper comes over here, right? It finds this button node, this button element, um, this is HTML, finds this element, and then it gets the button, all right? The class name button, which is called the button, all right? And I'm saying that expect button dot test. So it gets the button, and I get the test on the button, all right? And I say expect the button dot test to equal submit to do, and that is how I can I can get the test from an element. Okay. Okay. So you see, three tests, everything passes. Okay. So let me take you guys through what is going on around here again. I import React from React. I import shallow from Enzyme. I import input from component input. I've got a describe block. I'm describing that, okay, I'm testing the input component. I've created a variable called wrapper. It's basically what I'm saying. I'm saying, okay, before you test this, I want you to run this, all right? Before you test this, I want you to run this, all right? Before you test this, I want you to run this. So I've created a wrapper called shallow using the shallow API from Enzyme and I've passed it the inputs. The inputs over here is this input. As you can see, this input, right? I'm exporting this input, export constant input, and I'm importing the input over here. I've imported the input from components 
component star directory input okay so I wrap this input then I use this wrapper throughout my test okay so I can get rid of this now because I don't need it this is all done I'm saying that I've created a constant called input over here wrap out of find dot input field the input field that I want the wrapper to find is this input field I'm telling the wrapper I'm telling my test that okay I expect the inputs dot props uh, like I said earlier on these are all props okay the class name is a prop required is a prop type is a prop name is a prop value is a prop I'm saying that get the prop which is called value so it comes over here it gets the prop which is called valued um, value and then I said okay check that the value is undefined and truly the value is undefined so it passes I come to the next bit and I say okay it contains a button so I've got a const button and I've made the value that I've passed to this button is this but is, is this over here that you can see all right and I'm saying expect wrapper dot contains matching element button so this wrapper so the wrapper over here all right which is everything that you see over here in the console check that it contains the marching element button and if it contains the marching element button it will be true if it doesn't contain it it will be false in this case it is true because it contains the marching element button I'm saying that the button has got a test I've created a button over here and I'm saying wrapper that find that button the button is a class on the button element so find the button it finds this as I've highlighted and expect button dot test to equal submit to do and that's exactly what I see over here submit to do okay